Evening, everybody. Uh, today we've got a few mail call and some mystery polls from C Town. From C Town on whatnot. So let's just start off with what we got. Uh, so let everybody know not a lot of mystery boxes coming in or going out or whatever. So <clears throat> first thing we have is um, everyone who says I buy those, you know, the uh, online cards on. Uh, epac.com so I put a few up for sale on COMC you basically transfer them from e, e uh, from epac to COMC you put them up for sale they take a percentage and, you know I sold a few hundred dollars worth of stuff and then two of them I want to put on eBay now or at least one at least probably both of these so I went ahead and had them sent home which I had the money in there you put a little credits in there to do stuff so this should just be two cards. It should both be in protectors and ready to go. I don't know, the first time doing this, so it's all new to me how it's going to come out. So let's hope they're inside of a nice little baggie and a, inside of another bag. There should be two cards in here. One of them's worth close to around 350 The other one should be um, just like a $50 card. And they tell you exactly CUMC. What is, how much money they think they're worth, they insure them. So let's just take them out and take a look. I'm going to put them in hard cases and then uh, put them on eBay. All three of them should sell for a pretty penny. I'll put them or best offer, so we'll see. So let's see what we got. Two of two, one of two, yay, yay. Look in good shape for once. I was surprised. I've heard a lot of things about them not being in great shape. So I'll keep the... Me a moment. I'll show you guys what we got. The first one is from this year's X Men Metal. So I had it the lowest on EPAC for the longest time, and like at 40 bucks, and it was way higher than that. This one I'm gonna have to take out of its thing to show you guys. This is the most expensive, one of the most expensive cards I've gotten off of EPAC. It is in beautiful shape, for what I can see. I will look at it harder. This is a Wolverine number 50 from. Doesn't say on these little things what they are. But this is a Wolverine 1 out of 49 parallel hologram card. I haven't seen e I had the low I had the only one up on EPAC for a long time or COMC and that was like 350 bucks. So these are going up on eBay just to let's facilitate my collecting. Um I I am actually in a store here locally now, so if anybody Comes down to Cedar and wants to check out our stuff. Uh, the Galaxy Guru on Instagram. I now have a booth in his store, so we are trying retail. We'll see how it goes. I'm getting a small booth. It's just going to have a backdrop and two outcroppings with uh, some Hot Wheels, some collectibles, some graded comic books, and stuff like that. So, if you're down here, let me know. Okay, next, uh, we have a box from Revive Comics. Tell you the truth, I don't know what's in here. It is um, whatnot, because really I've been having a hard time finding anything I want. Could be a win, could be, I don't remember. Uh, it's not, no slabs or anything. At least this shouldn't, no, this isn't a slab, this is just books. Nicely packed, my last revive one was a slab. And this is just books. But I'll keep the... See, now that I'm with a local shop, I'm going to, my friend who sells my stuff at Mercari, which is like some of the higher end collectibles I have, he's going to bring those in there and I'm going to use those to sell. I don't know why he put it in such a, he could have put it just in a regular um, Gemini. So I really don't even know what the heck I have here. It says lots number whatever, two lot book, two lot book. Oh, okay, I've been buying, like I said, guys, I'm almost done <laughs> with buying almost every new series. I'm almost done buying modern age books. I really am kind of... I don't enjoy the stories anymore. Um, I'm mainly buying old stuff now. That's what I'm going to continue to buy. Keep what I like. Okay, there's two... Uh, Revive Comics again. Nice. They've always packed perfectly. I'm not worried about it. We'll be back to them. We've got some old Avengers, it looks like. I'm not sure what is here. Uh, some of these are not in the greatest shape because it's not like I paid a ton of money. 
books that I thought for the covers and things I liked. Let's see what we got. So this is uh, Mighty Four Special Edition number nine. Number four, sorry. Um, I really have no clue about this book. <clears throat> I will re-put it back in. It needs a press. It's got a little dirt on it. Next up, Avengers number 176. I had this cover when I was a kid. Mm, book's in pretty good shape. Not very expensive, but still a cool book. And the third one, Avengers number 8, King Size Angle, Sinister Spectrums. <clears throat> like I said, I'm sti sticking with the older stuff. That's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's more bronze now. Okay, there's a lot of two books. First one up. Oh, Avengers number 163. Love the old Iron Man suit. I think that's why I got it. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's in okay shape. We're not talking. These were not expensive buys. And then we have a Avengers number 170. It has Dracosta, Wonder Man on the front. Not high-end stuff, guys. This was just a fun little buy, and the prices were good, so I was not going to pass them up. <coughs> okay, finally, Seatown. Seatown Collectibles does a thing on whatnot. His next one's on the 20th, so... Not a lot when it comes to... He's been doing... He normally does blind pulls. Mainly bronze and silver age stuff. Which is why I usually get into it. Uh, he, and he does a GP. So you buy six pulls, say. You get so many things. Me and a guy, we're both going at it. And we both got enough pulls to really... One of us is going to win. Nobody else is going to win at that point. Because I wanted it. It was a cool older Thor book I needed. So what the hell. Or not needed. Probably didn't want it. I was hoping for X-Men stuff. I did get an X-Men book in these pulls. I remember some of them. I don't remember most of them. Still, he did give me an extra book to make it up because with me and the other guy, the only ones uh, spending money, he decided that the other guy won. I did not get the GP. I've gotten the GP before from him. I've gotten some old Iron Man stuff like that I was looking for. So mainly, if he has books I want, I'll try. And plus, I mean... These are all these books range in the like twenty to thirty dollar range. <clears throat> well packaged. He of course uses a lot of <laughs> oh a lot of the same crap we use. Good old uh, well two Gemini stuffed inside of a. That has to be a little bit of a tough. Sorry, I should have opened this stuff beforehand. Sorry, I do apologize. I can reuse beautiful Gemini's. They'll definitely be reused. Um, like I said on Mystery Boxes, the last one right after Christmas wasn't great. This one, the next one coming up is going to be just a sub 100, 5 or 10 books. Lots of older stuff. As you'll see from the stuff in here I don't keep. <laughs> I mean, this is perfect. Seatown, got nothing to say about him. Got nothing bad to say about him. I think that's his full thing, the Seatown Collectibles. I'm terrible with it, but... Beautiful packing, nice guy, has some really older, I mean, they're not high-end books. I mean, as in, you know, they're not, they're mainly, well, how do I put it? He has some high-end books sometimes, the GP usually is, but a lot of, like, you know, Silver Age, and this one, I think I got heavy, uh, heavy Fantastic Four, which I really don't collect, so those books I probably will not be keeping. Locally, I'm going to be putting out a lot of graded books. I'm going through all my graded books and pulling out a stack to bring over there. And a lot of Hot Wheels, but I need the right display case, and I don't think he's going to have it. So we will see. My God, this is taking way too long to open up, but definitely keepers on the uh, beautifully packed. I mean, come on, guys. Look at this. Okay, let's open up, we'll open up the one down here, and we'll open up the other one. He gave me, um, I had gotten a first appearance of a character, and then he basically, because I... Because I won, because I didn't win and I spent so much money, he gave me the, uh, basically the, the death of the character, which was in the following issue, which was in the following issue. So it was like, I got the birth, and or I got the first appearance and the death of a character we'll never see. So let's, let's just put them all in the stack here. <clears throat> Down they go. Now yeah, I might as well throw these away. These are hard to use once they've been pressed and sealed like that. There should be 13 books total here. But I will be putting out videos on YouTube, guys. I do apologize for not being too active. I just can't say I have a lot of stuff coming. I mean, I have, uh, right now, there aren't a lot of mystery boxes out there happening. 
and I've pretty much been buying ones I like, and if I've already bought from you, I'm trying to give other people, so I don't know, we'll see. I got a few, you know, random stuff coming still that should be on the way from different comic houses. Okay, here we go, nice little stack. We're not going to, yeah, nice bags, backing boards. First up, Fantastic Four number 115. I don't, and if any of these could be or are hard to find books, I'll figure that out. But it's a beautiful 15 center. I'm not a Fantastic Four person, but pretty into, I'm giving it a good 6, 6-0 six oh maybe. Pretty damn cool. Next up. Oh, first uh, first appearance of Speedball. <laughs> what do you want? I mean, yeah, it's about a $15 book maybe. Pretty good shape. Next up. Captain America. I love the old Captain America ones. Eh. This one is Captain America number 118. It is definitely rough. It has some problems. But still, an old Captain America, this is a keeper for me. I have a minor run of Captain America, but it's missing chips out of the corner. I don't think this one actually went up to what, you know, the pull would be. But maybe maybe the books, maybe it's, um, maybe it's second person of the Falcon? Second appearance? I don't know. Hang on. Stop for a quick. So, yeah, we'll see. Next up. Ah, uh, the Mighty Avengers. Number 63, it needs to be rolled over and pressed. I think this is the first appearance of Goliath. I think I have this one already. I don't know why. I might already have it. We'll see. Next up. Submariner 25. Lots of, eh. Mid copy at best. 4-0 maybe. Still kind of cool. Next up. The Eternals number 4. We all know what happened with the movies and it pretty much killed this series. But I enjoyed the movie for what it was, but who knows. Next up. Mighty Thor Marvel Spectacular number one. I don't know what this is. The Power of Hercules, the Hordes of Pluto. I don't think I have Marvel Spectacular number one. I've never even heard of this series. Who knows? Might keep it, may not. Doubtful. Okay, and then once one actually. X-Men number 56, the first, I think it's the first monolith. I think I forget. I don't know if it's better condition than mine. I know I don't have them graded. This is a big copy, probably about a thirty dollar book. He has thirty five on it. That's you know, thirty thirty five. It's an original X Men first series. I already have it. I'll have to check it versus mine. Next up, ah, this is the ones I liked. Strange Tales number one fifty two into the dimensions of death. I just love the old Strange Tales stuff. Keep, not keep, we'll see. This is, no, well, it's mark number six, or, I don't know. Strange Tales, uh, number 156. Pretty good shape. Rub, a little bit of rub on the thing. Introducing Zom when Umar walks the earth. I, I look a few of these up. I doubt that's a $6 book. Okay, now I think we've got three books left. Two of them will be the first appearance and the last appearance of that one guy. Next up, Fantastic Four, number 121. Silver Surfer cover. Oh, this is the first appearance of... Um, my God, these names on the front. First appearance of this guy. <laughs> so 121, first appearance. And if I'm right, this will be 122. No, here's his... I'm sorry. First appearance of Airwalker in 120. And then his death in 121. So you have them coming and going. <coughs> so, why do we do it Sea town For the love of the art, for the love of the story, for the love of the comics. Thank you for your business, Sea town Collectibles. Definitely a nice guy. What do we have here? Is that a sticker? We have a Sea town Collectibles sticker. That's one I do not yet. I don't know what this book is. It's got to be one of them. It might be, it might be one he threw in. Let's see what we got. Oh, there we go. Four one ninety six. No, this is one of the ones I got. Very beautiful copy. Not like I do Thor, but still, Thor one ninety six. Okay, guys, that is it. Thanks for coming on in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep, thirteen books.
So that's what I got in my blind pulls. I'm going to keep a few. I'll get rid of the rest. So look forward to a uh, mystery box of a, probably like a $50 or $60 mystery box with some of these in it. Mainly older stuff, but we'll see. I got some other stuff shipping. We'll see what I end up with. Everybody I put in, I did buy a box, Heroes box, so you guys are going to yell at me. I got the one that's a um, chance, of 1 in 400 chance of winning uh, Hulk 181, which I'll never get. But still, I had to try it. So guys, that's it. Have a nice night. I'll talk to you soon.